I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute for Wednesday, October 2nd. Soybeans ended the session pretty narrowly mixed, consolidating with some influence from both soybean meal and soybean oil, while continuing to watch U.S. harvest activity. Corn finished modestly higher, also watching U.S. harvest activity while finding a little bit of support thanks to feed, fuel, and export demand. And both corn and soybeans are expecting very large, if not record, yields this year, with the USDA's next projection out a week from this Friday on October 11th. And both corn and soybeans are also keeping an eye on planting conditions in South America, with at least some rain in the forecast for dry parts of Argentina and Brazil. Wheat closed solidly higher, keeping an eye on some world weather issues. Uh, Recent frost in parts of Australia is expected to trim production at least a little bit, and there is the ongoing drought in the Black Sea region. There are also concerns about dry weather in the southern U.S. plains and excessively wet conditions in some eastern U.S. growing areas following a lean. Live and feeder cattle were up, waiting for widespread direct cash cattle business to get established. Direct cash cattle markets remained quiet outside of a few asking prices at 187 on the live basis. Widespread trade's going to wait until at least Thursday. And hogs were mixed, mostly higher, adjusting spreads with the nearby contracts up and far off deferred months down. That was despite lower pork at midday and steady to sharply lowered cash business during the session. With the closing market minute for Wednesday, October 2nd, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.